Hey guys, before we get in the video, I really quickly want to talk about my Patreon page, which is linked down in the description below. Patreon is an awesome way for you to support me as a content creator, so I can create higher quality content more often, for as little as $1 a month. You're also able to receive some pretty awesome rewards in the process. For example, shout out on Instagram, priority ride in a GTR if you see me at a meet, extra entries into my giveaways, and more. So if you want to help support me as a content creator and also support my future build, be sure to click the link down in the description below and check it out. Now enjoy the video. All right guys, never vlog and drive, but we're heading over to the Driver City Meets over in Tomball, I think it is. I can't remember exactly where. But we're heading over there, it should be a pretty good turnout. It's over at Lupe Tortilla in Red Robin. I haven't had breakfast yet because I had to wake up and go straight to a photo shoot. That's why I'm dressed nice. I actually did a photo shoot where I'm in the photos, which is kind of cool. But now we're heading over there and hopefully I can get some cool footage for you guys. On a quick side note, I did once again scrap another track video. I recorded an intro. I got to the track, was planning to make passes. They, it was super packed for one, which was an issue, but also they did one of those things where I got in line, I was waiting for a long time, and then when my line was about to get up to race, they coned it off again, so I had to wait until they went all the way back around. So I ended up, when I got in line, I ended up waiting over two hours to be able to run once. And so I was really fed up and not happy. The cool thing was, is I got to run against the Supra. So I ran against one of the new Supras. It was a good run. Well, it was a good race. I, it was a terrible run for me. What happened was I did a launch control, held down the brake, held down the gas, it revved up to 3200 RPM. The lights wouldn't go down, so I held it there for a minute. And it started to like, I started to lose RPM. And so when I launched, it just, I let go of the brake, even though it was full throttle, it just sat there and did nothing. And then it like after like half a second, then it started rolling and it rolled into the race. So I ended up running like a 1098 or something like that, which is one of my, one of my slowest, if not the slowest run that I've done since I've gone full bolt on. So that was disappointing. I beat the Supra, he ran like an 11, two or three or something, something pretty fast, but no, he ran an 11, seven, I think. Yeah, it was an 11, seven, but it was, it was just so frustrating. And I only got the one pass in that it wasn't worthy of a video, but a few of the other YouTubers there. So Car uh, Sinclair photos, and Big B TV and then Hunter Films were there and they all got some pretty cool recordings of all the races that happened. So if you haven't checked check them out and you can see some of the awesome races that happened, there were some pretty fucking cool cars there tonight, uh, last night. So be sure to go check them out and let's head over to Driver City Meets.
right guys, so just got back from the Driver City Meets over at Lupe Tortilla. That was a really cool location because it's a nice small parking lot. The showing wasn't, there weren't a ton of people there, which is, some people would say, and me included, it's that's a good thing because less likely for crazy and dumb shit to happen. Everyone there was super friendly, super talkative. I was actually a little bit late because I had a photo shoot this morning, like I mentioned, and I also didn't eat breakfast because I woke up right before the photo shoot, had to quickly hop in the shower, drove straight out there, and then drove straight from there to the Driver City Meets. So I went and had lunch at Lupe Tortilla, which was insanely good, by the way. Highly recommend checking them out because that their food was, was really, really good. But all in all, that was a fun meet. I'm glad that I was able to actually record with this camera again instead of the GoPro like last video, but let me know what you guys think about each of these videos because I am trying to become more professional on YouTube. I'm trying to increase the quality of my videos as you may see in this video, have seen in this video. I tried to be a little bit more cinematic with my recordings. I'm not like some of those YouTubers that go out and just commentate over looking at the cars because number one, I don't know a ton about the cars. I mean, I'm, I'm able to identify most, of, if not all of the cars, but when it comes to knowing the cars, I really, I really only know GTRs that well, and then other cars, it, it's just kind of a guessing game. But secondly, I'm not really one to commentate at a meet. I prefer to just record. That way I can, because a lot of times I'll have someone standing next to me talking or something, and I think it sounds better when I take out the audio and then put in some nice cool music in the background. So just let me know what you guys think about the changes and everything. and. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and as always, ignore my crazy hair, and have a nice day.